Thank you for choosing Tarpon and welcome to our online expenses tutorial. In this presentation, I will guide you through the process of submitting your expenses via our online system. So let's begin. Please log on to www.tarpon-uk.com. Start by clicking on the Go button located in the top right hand corner next to Employee Sign In. This will take you to our Members area. Welcome to our Members area. Here you can view your employee benefits package, referral rewards, learn more about contracting and legislation from our YouTube channel and of course claim expenses. Please click on the icon as demonstrated. Using the login details provided by your business manager, simply enter your email address or contractor ID like this, followed by your password. Once this has been done, click on the login button or simply press enter. You have now entered your expenses welcome page. You will notice there are several items listed. I will take you through each step to ensure you are claiming your expenses correctly and in a timely fashion. Please click on the Claim Expenses button at the bottom of the screen. You can now see your online expenses calendar. Simply click on the day you wish to submit expenses for and you will be taken to the Claim page for the day you have selected. Start by selecting the region you are working from, be it UK non-London, UK London or non-UK. This will ensure you receive the correct level of dispensation for your working location. Don't worry if you are unsure about being inside or outside London, as our system will identify this for you once your postcode is entered. Now follow the mouse. You will see accommodation is being entered. You can choose from home, bed and breakfast or staying with friends and family. You are entitled to claim £26.25 a night for staying with friends and family without the need for a receipt. However, you will need to provide signed confirmation from your friend or family member that you are using their address as temporary accommodation. Should you stay in a hotel, you need to submit an invoice matching the amount entered. Now enter when you left your overnight accommodation and the time you left your place of work. Please be as precise as possible with the times you enter. Meal allowances will be automatically added based on the times you have entered. This is not necessarily what you have spent on your meals as this is based on an average that employees spend during a working week. Now navigate further down the screen. You will need to enter your accommodation postcode and work postcode. Your vehicle registration number will only need to be entered if you drive a car or motorcycle to work. If you ride a bicycle to work, please enter cycle, followed by your employee number. Your employee number can be obtained from your business manager. Without entering this information, you will not be able to enter a mileage claim. When entering your mileage once again, please be as exact as possible as shown on screen. Do not round up or down. Mileage claimed will update automatically based on 40p per mile for cars. However, should you ride a motorcycle or bicycle to work, you are entitled to differing amounts which are 24p and 20p respectively. Should you utilise any form of public transport on the day you have selected or pay for your monthly train ticket on this day, please enter the amount as shown and press Submit Query. You will now be redirected to the online expenses calendar again. You have entered a day's expenses. Please complete this action for each day you work. At the end of each week, you must complete your weekly expenses by clicking on the zero pounds under the word weekly as shown. Here you can enter your vehicle mileage for the start and end of each week, claim for any business calls you have made and add any miscellaneous expenses such as parking. Once again, when you're happy all information has been added, please click the submit claim button. You will then be directed back to the online expenses calendar once more. Finally, we move on to signing off your expenses. Now this is absolutely crucial as we cannot approve expenses that have not been signed off. 
Once you have signed off a week's expenses, it cannot be changed, so please be accurate and vigilant. Please ensure all receivable expenses are posted to your business manager as soon as they have been signed off. We recommend sending them recorded delivery. The cost of this can be claimed as a business expense. You will need to enter this amount in other business expenses. Click on the word no underneath signed off on the week you have entered expenses for. This will take you to the expenses sign off screen. Firstly, check the expenses summary is correct. You will notice five boxes which will require checking. Some will be greyed out depending on which expenses you have claimed for. Public transport receipts, phone bill with business calls, purchase rationale, subscription rationale and a tarpon receipt form. Should a rationale or receipt form be requested, these can be downloaded from the site by clicking on the word in brackets next to them. A vast majority of expenses which require receipts will be claimable using the tarpon receipt form. Once all boxes have been checked and you are happy with the summary of your expenses, please check the final box stating you agree with our expenses policy and will send your receipts to your business manager. Once you have checked this box, a declaration window will appear. Please click OK. Now please click Confirm and you will be taken back to the online expenses calendar. You will notice the expenses you have claimed have now been signed off showing the date this was done. Your expenses will be approved by our expenses manager once they have been reviewed and receipts have been received. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Feel free to replay it as many times as you wish. Should you need any clarification, the text script is in the box below. Alternatively, contact your business manager.